UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? This player just needs to keep going out and just staying as relaxed as they have been and don't take unnecessary chances. Just keep it simple, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts if you will, and see where it lands at the end of the day. Oh, I can't wait, salivating to see how today's play goes. And let's see what he can do here today. Lovely effort, that. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got around 100 yards here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. An opportunity for a birdie here. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And that makes him tied for first. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Driver not necessarily required here because you have to shape your tee shot from right to left. And if you're a right-handed golfer, that's not the easiest thing to do. So lefties have a better opportunity, I think, of finding this fairway than most with driver. From there, a second shot over a long bunker to a green that's very narrow, dotted by pot bunkers. Truly is one of the coolest par fives on this layout. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Oh, that's great, it just missed the hole. Always a bonus when you can just tap in your regal putt. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Part three, just 177 yards from the back, but this green is always firm. Be wary of that. Opting for the nine iron. Should find the green here. Taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And now that finds him in first place. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Par four, 384 yards in the back. A long snake-like bunker down the right-hand side to a cool little green with all sorts of movement on it. A very fun hole to play indeed. Time for the second shot here at the four. Should find the green. 
A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This for back-to-back -back birdies. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Still in the lead now after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Huge mounding down the left-hand side that you want to avoid at all costs. The bunker down the right-hand side, to be fair, is not that bad. But a little further right of that, though, that's the water. You want no part of it. Second shot is downhill to a green. To be fair, that's mostly flat. Runs from back left to front right, but one of the more benign greens on this layout. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, this has been a ball striking clinic. Another green in regulation. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Right on four feet. Should make this one. He's staring down a birdie putt here. So far, so good. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. This player is putting for fun. Our current leader is up by three shots. Welcome to the tee of a par four. Par four, 393 yards from the back. Most players taking out a long iron or hybrid just for placement in the fairway. This green is surrounded by tall palm trees. Don't get caught out by one. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. That was special. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Oh yeah, this is tracking nicely. Mark it down, that's booty number five. Leading by three strokes now. Lovely momentum for this player after that booty at the last hole. Keep it rolling. And as you can see, there's a long fairway bunker down the left-hand side that makes you believe there's more room left than you actually have. It's just not there. Players should be looking a little bit further right. If you find the fairway, your second shot should be straightforward. In fact, Luke, I made a two here one time, so that shows you how simple this hole can be. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Gee, you don't see that very often. Superb shot. Lining up the birdie putt here. Now four shots up after that hole. Time to play one of the one-shotters. Par three, 237 yards in length. A brute, to say the least. It is a tough hole surrounded by bunkers. If you can make three here, you're a happy person oh that one's straight at the pipe well that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth this putt right on 12 feet to the hole
rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And down she goes. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. That one's heading down Broadway. And here we are with the third shot. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Didn't that look good for a long time? Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Great touch. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Rich, how are we looking after nine? Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Oh, that was pure. And he's down there. I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the 10th. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. This is their look at birdie. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. And that will drop in for a birdie. Gotta like it. Two in a row. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Teeing off here at the 11th. Par 5, 558 yards long. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left-hand side, and you might have a hope of going forward in two. However, you better be brave, and you better know what you're doing, because this green will call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. Playing from around 240 yards. Currently leading by three. Going with the five wood. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. What's well, a strange miss there. Look, they've been hitting the greens all day long. That's a high quality recovery shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And that puddle drop. Well done. He's currently sitting in first place. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Par 4 12th, a new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left-hand side, but it's a drivable par 4. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position.
Second shot here on the 12th. That's tidy. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Looks good. Oh, that's a ripper. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. And this is a really cool par three. You've got three distinct areas on the green, front right, all the way on the left-hand side, and the back right. Wherever they put the pin is going to dictate what shot shape you want to have into that green. I think it's a really cool design because it requires you to think about how you want the golf ball to land on the green and the way you want it to bounce. I think Pete Dye did a great job in designing this green. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Next up is this two-shot hole. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're going to be on top of a mound but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where that green sits. It sits from right to left with a decent amount of movement in it. It is not straightforward at all. This hole causes players all kinds of problems. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Butting for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. And this one is for his par. Oh, Rich, is there anything more disappointing setting up what you think is a makeable birdie putt, but unfortunately not able to convert? Now, two shots up after that one. This hole is a par four. One of the more simple tee shots on the golf course, par four, 470 yards. Just a little fade required off the tee to the fairway. The green sits up above the fairway a little bit, surrounded by a couple of bunkers, but I gotta say, I like this hole. It's straightforward, it's simple, before you head into the final three. Not bad. From about 130 yards here, currently leading by two. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, these are big momentum putts. Let's make this one from nine feet. Yeah, this is looking nice. Well, that'll play. Our current leader is up by three shots. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Fun-filled adventure waits. Find the fairway, 
and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do, but watch out. Lots of water awaiting a wayward second. Rich, fortune favors the brave at TPC Sawgrass, but no more than here at the 16th. You better be confident in what your abilities are, because if you get it wrong, you'll find out in a hurry with this second shot here at 16. You miss it right, you're in the drink. You miss it left, you're going to be in some mounds. You can catch a nasty lie, and that's not any place you want to be. It really is a difficult shot from over on the left-hand side, one of the most underrated difficult shots on this golf course. However, you're brave, find the center of the green, make eagle, well, life's good. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, super putt that. What an eagle. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And coming off the eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. Par 3, 17th, 137 yards, Island Green. I've actually seen a caddy throw it onto this green, but with a golf club in your hand, can you hit the green? That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. And a good look at birdie here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently three strokes up after that hole. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Well, it's time to tee off on the 18th hole. Par four, 462 yards, and you're gonna find out what kind of player you are when you tee off here. How brave are you? How much do you trust your swing? If you find the fairway, that's a great start, but the second shot awaits. Good looking shot this. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Yeah, he's got around 125 here. And choosing the eight iron here. Okay, that'll work. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 28 feet from the cup. Ooh, right by the hole. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. 